Here's how to remove text from a video in CapCut. Now, if you're in CapCut and you have some text already in a video and you can't remove it, I'm gonna show you a workaround to basically remove that. So let's open up CapCut here, tap on new project, and I'm just gonna bring in this clip that already has Trevor Nace at the very bottom right. So if I wanted to remove this text, this is the process. I'm gonna take a screenshot of it, the volume up and side button, and I am going to crop it down so that it just includes that video. There we go. And hit done and save to photos. Now I'm gonna hop out of here and open up a website. You can use apps for this, whatever you want, but I just typed in a remove watermark and this one watermark remover works pretty well. So I can go in here and I can tap upload here. Uh, basically I reached the limit, but I just went through this process and uploaded it. And basically it took this screenshot and converted it to this. So it automatically removes that watermark. You can use various apps or online services, websites. So essentially after you go through that process of removing the watermark, let's hop back into CapCut. We're gonna tap on overlay at the bottom center and add overlay. Now let's switch over to photos instead of videos and choose that photo that does not include the watermark. And we're gonna expand this out to this full screen. Now that we've done that, let's make sure this clip lasts the entire part of this video. And then I'm gonna scroll over until I get to mask on here and tap on mask. And let's choose rectangle. And all I have to do now is to make a rectangle that covers up this text on the video, just like that. And then hit the check mark. And now you can see I can play this video. Now the downside to this is that unfortunately, that is basically just replacing that screenshot with something else. So it doesn't work perfectly. It's not, you can see if it's over people, then it will distort some people. And essentially there's just really no way to remove that text. This is the best option. You're basically just overlaying that text on top of there. If you wanted to do this multiple times throughout the video, you could just take a screenshot in multiple different instances as people move or the scenery changes. But again, you can see kind of that grass is not looking exactly perfect except for that very beginning part. So unfortunately there are some downsides, but this is the best right now. Hope this helps. If you have any questions on that, leave them in the comments down below and we'll catch you on the next one.